Hello and welcome to this uh, discussion of the current status of Rainbow Six since they about a week ago, if not more, had the current, most current update of uh, Dustline when they introduced their two new characters as a map. Which, it kind of went off badly, I felt, because of the, not just on the aspects of the content, not the content, kind of, kind of maybe a little. But all the more aspects of with its servers, because I swear since the, that update came out, and I haven't played it in a while, a couple of days, so the servers may be a bit better, or whatever the connectivity, the uh, whatever it considered. It's just like there were a lot of times where people were disconnected when you had like high ping out of nowhere. Me, here's, here's a video of me here showing of me as Thatcher. I threw out one of my uh, grenades and for every it's like it's flying back. And you can see all these pictures of these pings that I have with people and everything. It's just like, what the hell? Whatever reason, this update really fucked with their servers or something. Like I said, I don't know what it is. Activity, whatever. Because it just seemed to have gotten a bit worse. I mean, one of those uh, pings was when we were in a... Uh, Private custom game having just some fun with some people, but still, it's like, what the hell happened with this update to screw with your connectivity? Yeah, yeah. It's good to be there. <laughs> seriously. And other aspects, which is like, it's hard to discuss. Not sure what's going on. Is with the uh, new attacker, Blackbeard, and with his shield, because. You would say it's a little overpowered because you pretty much can't get a headshot, but I've been headshot a good bit. Granted, a few times here and there was because I was running and somebody got off a lucky shot and hit me in the head because the thing moves. But, I mean, sometimes it just seemed odd because it doesn't actually... I mean, I'm looking up at, when I'm at a uh, Valkyrie, and my head was exposed. Like, like is this a is this somewhat of a balance that they try to make with him to not make him too overpowered where you can get a headshot or is it just them being stupid and they want and they need to rebalance him kind of the way they did with the shield operators where it's like they had some point in time where your a little bit of your head was peeking over the shield and people could still get headshots like which one is it is like it's is it to kind of more balance them out so you still have a possibility to get a headshot or is it they just didn't design it good enough who knows who knows? And, um... I hope to see at some point that they do have the new Dustline map in the ranked play, because they reset the rank system and, like, you pretty much, you, your whole rank gets reset. I'm not sure why it is. People are kind of complaining about it. It's like, maybe they have a system behind it and reasoning. I mean, who knows? But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, they, it's like, uh, at, I mean, at some point, hopefully, that map will be coming to uh, ranked play. But in general, like I said, I just, I felt like some balancing things that they need to work on if they haven't yet. Hopefully, they have with the connectivity since the update. As well as, like, they kind of made a update to some characters where one of them pretty much didn't need it, which was, uh, when the shield person's Montaigne, yeah, Montaigne, they, it's like they extended his shield's aspects when he's got his shield up. They did, uh, they updated, uh, IQ to where it's like, you're not just getting a ping on where something is, you see what it is, kind of. As well as they updated, uh, uh, Cap Can, not Cap Can, what they kind of need to do, they updated the uh, other one, I can't remember his name. But yeah, I think they need to kind of update Cap Can, whereas I think they need to not make his laser sight as visible as possible, because uh, it's it's just, it's just too goddamn bright. It's just too fucking noticeable. It's, like he's one of the characters that really nobody wants. It's like the other person is selection with the uh, turret. Just forgot. I don't remember his fucking name. Whatever. Uh, is another person that nobody wants because. It's like he's rarely we ever get a kill with his ability. Like I said, they need to like dim that fucking laser a bit, make it not so noticeable, somewhat noticeable, but not too noticeable. As well as that like screw that like peeks fucking through that you shouldn't have it extended out that far. It should just come out to the like be out on the side of the window or the door or whatever. Like you can 
kind of see if you look at that corner, but unless you do, you're kind of fucked, you know? Make it, make it more of a challenge to see. I mean, that's one thing they should do so Capcom would be more of a picked character in uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Because it's, he's like one of the few. Because it's like, like I said, rarely we ever get a kill from that. The only way it's, he's used is just to kind of put up a wall of defense. Like it forces the attackers to expend a bit of time. And who knows how much. Because sometimes it's like, they see it, boom, they're in. Sometimes it's like, okay, there's a guy here shooting at me. And like, I want to get in there and kind of kill him. But there's this trap. Sometimes it extends. But rarely will you ever actually get a kill with his trip mine. So yeah, I think they need to make it less visible as well as they need to have that like that screw that comes out when you screw it in up against the wall and actually extend it outwards. Cause that's I mean it's just making it too goddamn noticeable, really. But his other like I said, the updated his other person, I can't remember, Capcan and Chichanga, that's his name. Fuck I knew it started with a T, I couldn't remember why. <laughs> I can whatever, uh at the chunk of the updated way, you can place this turret in more locations. Which is not really that much of an update. I mean, granted, you can put it in more locations, more corners and shit, but still, he's he's a stand. Like, whenever somebody's on there, it's on the way well, they uh, did it in the second way, but it's pretty, still pretty much a standstill free kill, pretty much. Uh, they updated it in another way, which is like you can get on it and off it a bit quicker, but still. I mean, it'd be nice if he had the option, and only he, only he, Chuchanga, had the option to where he can take his turret off that, and whatever amount of ammo is on that turret is the only amount he has. Once that's empty, it's done. He switched, and make it sure where he switches to another gun, because there's sometimes when, like, when you're shooting and it gets empty, it doesn't automatically switch to another weapon. I hate games that do that. It's like, once you get empty, you won't switch to another weapon. I think Destiny did that, which is retarded. I got that person wouldn't automatically switch her because as the seconds it takes to do the command to switch to another weapon sometimes is like a life and death just moment to moment situation it's just like these are you know supposed to be uh, highly elite operatives you know you'd think they'd automatically do it so yeah if they do it where he can take off his turret and the moment he's done shooting and it becomes empty he should automatically switch to his main or his just a secondary piece you know but, uh, what else, what else? Oh yeah, another thing that I remember we're talking to people about and some stuff in which they kind of need, I hope they balance in some way. I'm not sure how it can be done. One is make it to where the uh, attackers can't shoot out like five to ten seconds after the round starts. Cause it's so annoying. As I've stated in my Overwatch video, I always say I'm going to shoot a video or whatever. No one wants to spawn die. Nobody in any shooter ever is it nice to spawn die. When you get killed just like moments out of spawning feels like major bullshit. Nobody wants in any shooter ever wants to spawn die. It's an annoying inconvenience and with game like Rainbow Six Siege you're pretty much if you're like fucking, fucking uh, if you're, uh, I would say Thatcher maybe, but a uh, thermite. If you're a thermite and you just like round the corner, if you come out of your corner area where you just spawn and you immediately get sh headshotted, it's just like it's bullshit. There's a couple things they need to do. Is I feel it's like one, don't let the defenders have ACOG on any of their weapons. They're defenders. They're mo, and they're mo. They're made to defend. To really force that on them now, it seems they need to get rid of ACOG, especially on that fucking pocket sniper. Whatever idiot thinks that's okay is a fucking retard. The secondary should not have a ACOG on it at all. If any of the weapons at all on the defenders should have ACOG, you're making these fuckers, allowing them into being not defenders but attackers. And there's, and I know there's like people who try to flank and all that shit, but that's. That's flanking. I don't feel that as much as attacking. But it's like you're allowing people just to 
initially spawn kill with that. You, know, like, you need to take ACOGs off all the defender weapons that have ACOGs. They need to have that 5 to 10 second aspects where they cannot go outside. If at all, that's another thing people I've been talk talking to with on playing random games left and right. It's like they hate it when people come outside and just immediately kill them. Because again, as I stated, they're fucking defenders with these allowance of ACOGs and getting out the map. It feels as you're allowing them more and more to be not defenders, but attackers. There are people who are supposed to be defending these fucking objectives, but you're giving them so much range to be fucking attacking when they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be defending. People would say like they shouldn't be able to come out at all. They should have like the moment they come out, like the immediate notice on this fucking timer of like three or five seconds, whatever it is anymore, is to them to be noticed they should be noticed immediately or it's like some people say you know if they go outside it's like an AC-130 that or just rip them to shreds or some shit you know they need to do something forcefully now to force these fuckers to stop being so aggressive when they're defending you're supposed to be defending not attacking and with these shit that they have of open range they're allowing them to be more on the attacking front than the defending aspects. Which is annoying as hell when you're attacking. When you, I mean, granted, like, these people always say, you know, it's more realistic than this shit. It's like, well, who gives a fuck? It's a fucking game in which is supposed to have aspects of challenge and fun. But with this, they're giving too much aspects of, like, I swear on the ease. Like, you're supposed to have 50% fun, 50% challenge. I've had to have like a hundred on each, so it's just over amount of fun and challenge with the lack of, you know, kick to these guns, I swear to God. The fact that people can attack while they're pretty much defending and all this shit, you know? It's just too much shit in this shit where they pick and choose between realistic and not realistic at all. It's retarded, and another thing that I hope they update, I'm not sure why this happened, I'll show you a video here. In which we're attacking on that snow map, whatever, with the garage. And person, as you saw here, uh, took care of the diffuser, but he's not actually on the diffuser, hidden it. What the fuck is that? Hopefully that's something that's changed and they've taken care of. But that is stupid as shit to allow that, dude. How is that realistic, huh? They need to either pick realistic or not realistic. It needs to have a choice. Because when you pick and shoot some of the things, a lot of times it just becomes unbalanced bullshit and that's what Rainbow Six feels like and that's why I still think of it as a not really a, a, a competitive shooter because there's too much imbalance with the shit in this game with I mean the worst of it all of course is as has been said many times which is still unfortunate thing they need to fix somehow is that peekers advantage when somebody sees you like a second to two seconds before you see them it's stupid I mean I, it's supposed to be, they say it's like it's all shooters, but I swear whenever I play Call of Duty, Battlefield, or even just CSGO, which is like pretty much what Rainbow Six is based off of, I don't really see much of this Peekers Advantage shit. I mean, CSGO is pretty much, I mean, it, like they can talk to whoever fucking runs their servers and all that shit and their and code and everything. I'm pretty sure they would eliminate this Peekers Advantage crap ever. Like I said, a lot of people say it's like, this is rampant in all shooters. Well, why is it said rampant in all shooters, but it's only discussed in Rainbow Six Siege? Because it's only the place where it feels like it's happening. Seriously. How can there be Peekers Advantage in this game, but it's said that there's in other games, but it doesn't feel that way? Seriously. This is the only time this Peekers Advantage shit has ever really been brought up, I felt. I felt. I feel. I don't know, that's just my thoughts, my opinions on this shit, you know. And one last point here on uh, Rainbow Six and which things I hope they would change soon is the whole daily challenge. You see the picture here and they, it's like it's like each challenge is a, I can't, I can't speak there for some reason. A fucking day apart from one another. It's stupid. They should all be available on a single day, you know, it's like it's these challengers are supposed to challenge you in certain different ways, but not to mention just the challenge themselves is so stupid. Play two games of multiplayer with the FBI person. Oh, fuck it, I'll turn it off. Yeah. Turn that off to get that clear out of there. 
But seriously, the challenges were for one need to become a bit more challenging, just a bit, you know. Like I said, there needs to be 50% fun, 50% challenge on a figure game. They need to have this balance. Number 6 kind of has the balance, kind of. Still a little off sometimes, it feels. But with the daily challenges... <coughs> Damn it, I cannot speak. The daily challenges themselves need to have a smaller time gap. It is retarded that each one is a day apart from one another. So when you get your first challenge, it's pretty much, you know, you're going to have to wait a day for the next challenge. And if you complete that, then you're still waiting a day over and over and over for it. Just a fucking single challenge. And when you have, like, you have, like, this deluxe edition or whatever edition or whatever it was, you have, you have like, five challenges instead of just the normal three. It's retarded to see you have to wait five days for the, the fifth challenge, but pretty much you're still waiting a day over and over and over again for a challenge if you complete a challenge. Granted, they, at least they have it towards, like, if you're not playing. Like, if I go back, it's been probably five days since I played Rainbow Six. I probably have all five challenges ready to go, but still, it is retarded in itself of the time gap for these challenges. It is too much of a time gap. Especially the way it originally was, because the, the original way it was, there was no, uh, the challenges time would still continue if you weren't playing the game. Which was retarded, because my god, that is retarded. But at least they, in an update, like I said, they changed it up to where it is, like, if you're not playing for a while, the challenges will still count down. But for those who, you know, at least play it on, like, a long, regular basis, which I'm on and off with that kind of aspect from time to time, it just it seems retarded as hell with this time gap between these challenges. That's something else they need to fucking fix. Seriously, it's a small little thing. It's a small thing of the huge things that they need to fix with Rainbow Six, but still, it's something they need to fix. It's stupid and annoying to have this huge of a time gap between one challenge and the fifth challenge. Seriously, guys, get your shit together. If you have anything that you'd like to add to discuss. Opinions, thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you were entertained and informed. And I hope you have a rock'em, suck'em day. Peace.